What's going on guys? Welcome back to Cobblecane, and I mentioned in the last video that this video would be a little bit random. Um, it would just be like random stuff that's kind of just been picked up over the past couple days or week or so. Um, I want to get them out of the way because they're just staring at me. They're staring at me and I want to open them because, you know, it's always... I feel like for a content creator, or just for anyone really, because like, you know, sometimes people like to, to record what they're doing, send it to friends and everything. And then maybe you don't record, is when something magical happens, right? Happens every time. You know, I regret to this day that I didn't start doing this channel and I didn't have all like the little pieces of equipment and gear and all that stuff to take around with me to like record my Pow Day of Fates and Evolving Skies, like, Cole's hunts and all that kind of stuff. I could have definitely made quite a lot of cool content out of it and it would have been just funny because of the amount of alt arts and everything we hit out of that because considering, you know, Evolving Skies is Evolving Cries, yada yada yada. I didn't feel that that, that way about it. I loved it. Evolving Skies was amazing for me. Um, but it's always when you're not recording. So, today we've got, and it's a weird spread, we've got 12 Twilight Masquerade hanging blisters bought from Cole's Tony found them while he was on his trip out. He's like, you yeah, want them? Like, yeah, okay, buy them all. Pay ID money, yada, yada, yada. So we've got 12 of those. Obviously, still hunting Greninja. It's Tony that's picked it. So it's probably just full of hits in here. Probably. And then we've got a donated box of Crown Zenith from my sister and her partner. Just random. <laughs> and even more random. I was obviously doing my own coal shop, uh, getting, you know, the bread, milk, eggs, yada yada for a week, and there was one random Stellar Crown booster packet, not on the hanger, but fallen down on the ground. And we know how we feel about the random packet that's on the ground and being mistreated, right? There's always good stuff in it, at least that's the ideology. So, let's get straight into this, and as you can see, it's, it's just a funny assortment of, uh, stuff. It's just... It's a little bit all over the place. It's a little bit, you know. Um, yeah. I, I feel like... You know, I feel like we just bite the bullet and start with Crown Zenith. Crown Zenith being, I believe, a lot of people's favourite. Um, I personally didn't have that nice of a... Uh, I didn't really have that nice of an experience with Crown Zenith. Um, I remember buying a case of ETBs when it first came out, and I was pretty disappointed with it. Um, but, you know, people love Crown Zenith. Uh, and I don't particularly mind Crown Like, I like Crown Zenith. I just don't like Crown Zenith. I feel the same way about Crown Zenith that I feel about Lost Origin and Astro Radiance. Because I tried to, you know, master set those back then, and we bought, like, booster boxes and all that kind of stuff, and I just had no luck with that stuff. Like, it was... My luck with Lost Origin and Astral Radiance was absolutely sad and makes me happy in a sad way. And now I forgot how this works. Was it was it four to the front? Four to the front for Crown Zenith? Yeah, okay. Now, Sword and Shield. I, I say it every time. I hate opening Sword and Shield after starting, like after getting into Scarlet Violet. I have oh, okay, here we go. We got Charizard V. Oh, there's only two hits. Oh, that's right. See, I was already expecting the, the triple hollows and all that kind of stuff. I totally forgot. Um, I've, I've enjoyed opening. I've enjoyed opening Scarlet Violet because it's been a little bit nicer. It feels a little bit nicer. Like, on the on the mental side of things, like, you're, you're getting a little bit more out of it and hit rates aren't so terrible, but... And a lot of a lot of people out there, a lot of a lot of naysay people out there, did say that oh, because you know Scarlet Violet's so much more easier in the hits, yada yada yada. That means that you know I gotta stop opening it like that because we're seeing the first card and I'm being a bit of a goober. Um, but you know because of that, it's 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 ruining the uh, the value of uh, Pokemon and all the cards and all that kind of stuff, and it's like. Well, I mean, yeah, fair enough. Okay, cool. Like, you know, we take it we, we take it in that light, yeah, sure, but considering the stuff that the Pokemon company oh we go, we've got a hollow hollow energy. That's cool. It's one I never got back then either. Um Considering the past couple sets for a while now and the prices of the actual 
alt arts and stuff like that that's come out of these sets it's actually been pretty insane um obviously you know from recent memories uh pikachu greninja um even before that it'd be the, you know the powder and fate stuff like the bubble mew and all that kind of stuff charizard not so much uh then you got you're gonna get the temporal buddy like the temporal dudes like the temporal and paradox dudes oh we got paris yay and the leon okay like you know and this booster bundle is not terrible either this booster bundle is doing pretty okay what the heck why i hate booster bundles but i think holiday set booster bundles probably work a lot better booster i think i think holiday sets of i like the, the product in holiday sets that come in the same ones as the normal sets but I'll never buy the normal set stuff in hopes of being happy. Enough said. <laughs> Enough said. If it's a holiday set, I like ETBs. If it's a base, like a normal set, like Searching Sparks, I don't like ETBs. You get the point, right? Booster bundles? Absolutely hate them. Unless it's a holiday set. <laughs> But even then, I'll probably still avoid it just out of pure fear and, you know, um, what's the word? Pure fear and PTSD a little bit. It's not even a little bit. It's 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 full-blown PTSD when it comes to, like, booster bundles for base sets. I have not had a good time with it. And I have dodged a few bullets now and then. And there we go. So that's our last packet. That's, you know what? For a booster bundle, I've, uh, that's the first time I've opened a Crown Zenith booster bundle. And for a booster bundle... That didn't feel too terrible. That 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 was all right. So what? There were six packets in the booster bundle. We got three, you know, slightly bigger hits, and well, including the the energy. One of them being a uh, Raihan alt. I, I believe that's considered an alt art because yeah, it's yeah near the end of the set. Yeah, it's considered an alt art. So not too shabby. The only problem is I think it's is Raihan out of rotation yet. It's coming out of rotation, I think. So. That's sad. <laughs> His value is going to drop soon. All right, so I feel as though we leave the Stellar Crown packet, the single Stellar Crown packet, to absolute last, and we get into these Twilight Masquerade ones. So now these ones I've been sitting on for quite a bit because I've been so busy that I haven't been able to get around to recording this, and I'm kind of glad I did because obviously, you know, the donated Crown Zenith box. And then the random still a crown packet and just picks that up and like, yep, okay, cool, let's, let's do it, you know? This will make an interesting story. So, can't really fake, you can't, you can't really fake these stories. These stories just kind of happen on their own. Now, this is Tony right now, right? This is Tony knowing that, you know, we're Greninja. I've been uploading a lot of my, tip, like my TikTok and the shorts here and everything like that. Wasting money so you don't have to. <sighs> It very much feels that way. It's right now I'm wasting money so you don't have to. It kind of gives you a reason as to not go ahead and, you know, be silly and stuff. Like, I'm kicking myself when it comes to Greninja because I could have bought it at one point for 180 or 200 bucks. At that point, I was like, no, nah, that's too much. I can't do that, right? In hindsight, I should have done it because <laughs> I've definitely spent more than 200 bucks trying to crack it now outside of those, 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 those two cases that I opened. Now I just got PTSD again thinking about that second case. Do you know what I mean? Twilight Masquerade for me brings pain. That one's pain. That one is sheer pain. Alright, so two packs in. Nothing yet. Come on, Tony, where's your magic? Where's your magic, Tony? You said that there's definitely a Greninja in this. You're disappointing me. You know, Tony might actually work in reverse. Oh, upside down, Snorlax? Good omen? Bad omen? Okay, it's a. Ogopon Omen, sort of. That was weird. <laughs> Snorlax, Australian based Snorlax. S Sydney Cider Snorlax. There we go. It flies upside down. Um, I feel like Tony works in reverse. And I know your, your, your ears are probably burning right now, Tony, like while I'm recording this and again when I'm talking to you right now, because he told me not to spoil this video for him. He told me when you do it, don't tell me what you got. I want to see what you got. I feel like Tony works in reverse. I feel like he's not good at picking stuff for other people, but he's amazing at picking it for himself. Whereas people like myself, I'm great at picking it for other people. And he knows that. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm good at picking product 
for other people. For myself, not so much. And it's starting to really shape up that way. <laughs> I mean, we get one big hit out of this and make it all kind of worth it in that sense. But yeah, I think I think Tony is like a he's a self sufficient pack gremlin at this point. I reckon, I reckon that's Tony's superpower. He's actually able to pick out luck for himself. Oh gosh, full art Okapon. So I think do we get we got twelve packets right? We got twelve packets of um of the Twilight Masquerade. I think it was. I lost count now because we just kind of ripped them all open so quickly. Oh, where Greninja? Where Greninja? No Greninja. Um, and I was also like, I almost got this set mixed up with Shrouded Fable just then as well. I was like, oh yeah, the Fizzendipity Alt Hearts in here. It's like, no, it's not. That's the Shrouded Fable one. All right, so we've got five packets left of Twilight Masquerade. It's looking a little grim. <laughs> just a little grim. Just a little grim. All right, Tony, come on. Come through. I swear, if that Blast Stellar Crown packet has the hit in it, I'll be like, yep, okay. All right, so we've got Hyper Aroma. And nothing. We've got Lucky Dory. Very good, but also very annoying competitive card. Hyper Aroma also not too terrible, I guess. I don't think people really use it. There's so many other A specs to use now that you just wouldn't use it. Can't wait to use that brilliant blender. Alright, so fourth last packet of Twilight Masquerade. Applin, Chandelure, and ooh, Carmine! I needed more Fallout Carmines! I'm not too sure if United Wings still uses Carmines though, but I've been hunting these down. Like, I think I need one more for a full art playset now, so that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Alright, three packs left. <laughs> Tony. He's not a dispenser of luck, he's a consumer of luck. He's a consumerist. <gasps> Ooh, okay, that made it all worth it. That just paid for the entire lot. <laughs> And I finally pulled an Eevee! I finally pulled an Eevee! Thanks, Tony! You did it! Well done, Tony! You did it! <laughs> you did it! Uh, if that was 12 packs, then that's not a bad hit rate either. <laughs> if that was 12 packs, that's not a bad hit rate. Alright, alright, see, okay, now, maybe Tony's just a two way luck streak. Two way luck streak. I didn't pull, I never got to pull that Eevee. And now I have. Now I can say, I can cross that off my list and say that I pulled an Eevee. I might even get that one graded. You know what, let's have a look. Nah, probably not. I don't know. I, I, I'm i not good with these, these thingy things. Like, I mean, on the front, it looks pretty well centered. It looks pretty well centered on the front, right? But the back, I don't know, when it comes to corners and stuff like that. Like, there's no whitening or anything, but... I don't know. I need I need to go to one of my my fellow nerds that have like five different types of microscopes in built into their glasses and just help me out. You know. All right. Absolute last packet. We're already up on the uh, the Twilight Masquerade portion of this. Can't believe I pulled an Eevee. That's great. Shinx, Slabebe, and no Greninja. Where Greninja? Come on, Tony. You said there was a Greninja in here. You lied to me. You lied. You lied. But we're still happy with that. That's actually not a bad spread of hits there, especially with the Eevee just capping it off. So that's pretty sweet. And for like one of the like for the full art trainer to get to get Carmine, cannot complain. All right, we're up to the absolute last little solo. It almost feels like this was like someone was just grabbing all of them up and dropped one, just didn't bother picking this one up. So obviously with Stellar Crown, we've already master set this one. We master set this set relatively quickly. But anything extra would be nice on the side. So here we go. Absolute lucky last packet for this video. Carnivine, Tormi, Fan Rotom, Tornadus, Frogadier, Pangor. It's always the last pack. It's always a it's always a neglected packet. It's always a neglected packet. You can't. You can't, you can't say, you can't tell me anything otherwise. You can't tell me anything otherwise. It's, 
It's, it's just not possible. It's not, you can't. So that was actually not a terrible opening, to be honest. The uh, the Twilight Masquerade packs came in clutch. The single packet had a Grand Tree, and the booster bundle was good as well. That, <laughs> what the heck? You know, I got an ult heart there. You know, like, Raihan, that and that, and then... Can't complain. I feel like my luck's about to burn really quickly, because the last couple of videos have been pretty good. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. You guys take it easy. There's more than likely going to be more Surging Sparks following this again because... Pikachu. Please, Pikachu. You guys take it easy. I'll catch you in the next one.